minuto. Um, did you know about uh, the research results of the Swedish people and the Germans uh, Mr. Van Ozen spoke about? Because he just uh, said on the sheets it's a zero percent CCSVI in normals and uh, patients. But as you read the results of this um, of this research, it's extremely interesting that it was 150 percent yes, increase yeah. for the MS patients compared to the uh, uh, controls. That's a huge difference, and they don't mention yes. it in their title. But um, uh, I would anticipate you that uh, uh, there will be several letters published in the next issues of uh, uh, Annals of Neurology regarding uh, the paper of the German group. Uh, That's good news. And, and, uh, and they really, uh, th this letter uh, really show that from a mathematical and physical point of view, the interpretation of the data really was really not satisfactory. No. And the title is here an improper title. It was. Because yes. with different uh, methodology, they really <laughs> confirmed the presence of CCS. Th they did. Yeah. The beautiful thing of this story, I don't know what will be the, the end of the story, but the beautiful thing of this story is that uh, MS patients are very intelligent, very creative, very interesting. Yes. They really know very well everything and are also capable to distinguish very well what is true. What probably is not so true. Yes, but so. ne nevertheless, Mr. Zamboni, this uh, uh, Mr. Van Oster, he at the moment is now preventing people in the Netherlands to go for diagnosis and, this and is treatment. A, this so is we a have sad, to go with uh, This is a sad history, of course, but uh, we need to produce more, 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 more evidence to convince other people to work in this yes, area. Yeah. And, uh, but Buffalo I, will, the, the Buffalo results will be available pretty soon, isn't it? I don't know when. Uh, the good thing that I know but for example, safety was completely confirmed. Yes. So, but now because one yeah. of the points that um, liberation procedure is very, very dangerous is not true. It's not true. Yeah. It's not true. Because we have uh, all, all the published study mm -hmm. did not have any huge complication, um, important no. adverse effects, yes. so uh, this... <laughs> Dr. Marian Simka is, is over 600 patients uh, already, never a problem. And in, in Germany there are also... Uh, I know, uh, I know, I know, but uh, this is one of the subjects used, uh, for example, in Canada, but also in Italy, mm -hmm. at the Ministry of Health, was used, uh, the, this is a very dangerous yeah. procedure. So we need to extremely a, 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 dangerous, <laughs> extremely dangerous yes. terrible. But uh, I understand that with very less evidence they use the uh, transplantation with ten percent mortality. No so problem. This yes. is not a problem. Of no, course. it's no problem at all. Yes. And a procedure with no problems so far is very dangerous. But, but I am very confident if uh, we, if we should continue to work in this way and to produce evidence, uh, yes. we are capable to change the things, really. Um, what do you think are the main problems we have to tackle in the near future for CCSVI? Because in your pilot study, you said that a large percentage of the severe MS patients, they, uh, they had azicus problems. The Azigus fame. Um, the, um, as, as far as we know, the clinics in Germany and in Belgium, uh, and maybe oak in Poland, they don't find as much Azigus problems. Do you think? I think that uh, 
Abigail's problem need to be seen uh, also from a functional point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's completely abnormal that you have reflux of the superior vena cava to the left renal vein. Mm -hmm. If you put a catheter in normal people and inject, mm -hmm. you have immediately, immediately, very rapid, the hamting into the heart. Yeah. And these people, you may probably do not see immediately mm -hmm. stenosis, but you see a reflux that suggests stenosis. If you put hybus, it is intravascular ultrasonography, mm -hmm. you find that the effect is very, very teeny. The effect. Mm -hmm. Nobody uses the projection that they publish it on the outlet of the adagus vein, or you may see the membrane. Manos. Yes. So I think that there's, there's a lot to be done uh, in that area. Then this is a very important point because the adagus vein is very very important. Just one question about Ashkes V. We saw uh, one uh, small movie about the contrast fluid which is get into the, in the Ascot's vein. And then we saw a little bit of the fluid is going towards the spine. Is that a problem? This is a big problem. That's a big problem, yeah, okay. Well, okay. Because they, uh, normally the blood flows from the intravertebral plexus to the extravertebral plexus. If the avigus is closed or the ref left renal vein is closed, for example, for external compression. We found also people with this problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. The blood is compelled to go from external vertebral to the internal vertebral plexus and create abnormal eye pressure in the spine. And uh, Dr. Salvis, our neurologist, uh, found out that this is related, for example, to primary progressive form. Primary progressive form, I have the lesion mainly located mm -hmm. in the spinal cord. Okay. So there is also a correlation between uh, pattern of uh, venous circulation and uh, location, location of the problem. Yes. Yes. So I think that the, the issue of the adagus vein need to be uh, probably shared mm -hmm. among the people that uh, Interventional people who take care of uh, CCSVI. Yes. And uh, the next appointment could be in Italy because we founded uh, an international society that is called International Society for Neurovascular Disease. Yes. And uh, we are planning uh, the first meeting in March in Italy. And I want to establish some educational session also about uh, the problem of the diagnosis vein in order to have uh, just one protocol for everybody. Yes. This is very important. So they cannot uh, say they didn't find anything because they didn't use the right protocol. I, I had uh, these cats of me that never find uh, nothing uh, to do uh, and uh, I already discussed the cases with several interventional radiologists mm -hmm. and now they understand. So there is also an it's, educational it's a, uh, yes. an educational aspect to, to face and uh, I'll do this. Do you think, Mr. Damboni, that um, being at the start of discovering everything about CCSPI, that um, we may have to, well, we, you, may have to uh, research a hell of a lot more before we know, well, all about, but fairly uh, all about uh, CCSVA. There is a lot of research to do, really. Okay, there is the a collaterals, lot of research. We've got the collaterals, we've got the, the tiny, tiny, tiny veins that can't be ballooned. What I, I would say is that uh, if... Uh, you should find more and more things to the search. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect indicator. One, this is, this is VI is true. Mm -hmm. Two, this is very, very interesting. Yes, it sure is. Because probably we do not uh, know exactly all the good things that may mm -hmm. go out yes. from the research. So, 
So there's a lot to be done? Yes. 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 yes but, you know, Mrs. Amboni, we are so grateful for your granting us this interview. And I know this means a lot to uh, the MS patients. It really does. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I thank you very much for your support, your help. Uh, you really are an important part uh, of the story.